At long last, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the night. It's the big premiere extravaganza for Trekkies in the Darkness. How are you this evening, Mr. Ware? I I'm doing quite well. Uh, I I'm not allowed to do any interviews with the press at this time. Really? Not even before the film? Indeed. But at least we're getting some nice snapshots for the newspapers. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, Mr. Brooks is being very snobby and has not allowed me to see it My beforehand. My goodness, what a dastardly man. No kidding. Miss Newton, how are you this fine evening? Fabulous. And are you looking Feeling. forward to finally seeing the film? Well, I'm looking fabulous, I know what that for name? sure. I've already seen He's the film. He's our cousin. But I can tell you to expect lots of me. We've already seen the film, but from God. what reports we got from Mr. Ware, West Brooks has been holding the picture until tonight's release. Well, I guess I'm just specialer than Mr. Ware. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ware, how are you this evening? Um, I'm sorry, no. I'm oh, sorry, no. Come press. on, this is a no red press. carpet no. premiere. I'm this sorry. is what this event is no. about. Miss Shelburne, what is your role in tonight's premiere? I'm the mistress of awards, so. You're the mistress of awards? Yes. Do you know who is managing the awards? Mm, I am. Oh, my goodness, how distinguished you are. A man of great repute. I am. Hello, Miss Myers. Hi. Are you looking forward to tonight's premiere? Yes. Do you have any thoughts to share before the premiere? What are your expectations? Well, we're doing like 20 different stories, so we're all like, Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> well, it has to be good if I'm in it. Oh, my goodness, food during the premiere, food during the premiere. What a gracious director. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to sign a contract on behalf of NerdCon to say that I have partial ownership of the film Trekkies in the Darkness. <laughs> Clap, cheer. You don't have to read it, you can just sign it. No, I can read it. <laughs> I don't know what you could have me signing. Uh, <laughs> How do you feel, Mr. Ware, after signing your, your grand contract? I feel so excited. <laughs> no, I prefer pencils, however unprofessional that may be. Not my best signature, but oh well. Stop. Oh, did he sign on the line saying, I will therefore give all rights to this to Sophie Newton? Uh, no, I did up? not. I, there was no line for that. Come on, buddy. It's the show. We're glad you're here. D. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready to watch this? Yeah. So Sophie, what did you think of Trekkies in the Darkness? I loved it. Again, I'm a star. Um, I thought it was very good. I liked it. I like Trekkies in the Darkness a lot. And I like the fact that I did not hold anything back. <laughs> and that I no, truly you do. Oh, man. <laughs> What? Okay, so you know how I stated that I don't like the Hunger Games. Well, yes. no, I love the Hunger Games. So, but I don't love it for the reason that teeny boppers do. I don't, I don't love it because it's just like Twilight. Can I interview you here? No, I'm playing Flappy Bird. All right. I really enjoyed the film. I thought your editing job was superb, by the way. Oh, I started a new Star Trek ship. I really, really, really like Jim and Carol now. Like, I think that's my OTP. I don't think Spock and Uhura is my OTP anymore, but I still love them. I feel like Spock and Uhura was already so fleshed out. I mean, they, we already understand that. Where uh, Carol and Jim is just beginning. We just see their romance begin to bud, just begin to spark. And so it leaves so many opportunities for fan fiction. Um, and also they work better together, in all honesty. So tell us. Um, the beep got just a little bit annoying using that for every, uh, for several transitions in a row. Oh, really? That was the only thing I noticed. That I used it very sparingly. I noticed that a couple of times, and it just was in close proximity to one another, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have used that multiple mm. times. That was the only thing I would criticize, really, and that's totally minor. I love uh, the opening titles, and then the calendar, use the calendar, and the Star Trek memorabilia. That was a great way to open it up. And thanks to you, I yeah. had that Klingon mug. Tell us in all honesty, what did you think of yourself in this film? As you say in the end scene, we're going to watch this and psychoanalyze it. I think that I am a different person now, but I think that is kind of a fun throwback. I get very nostalgic seeing myself like that. I now want a Star Trek t-shirt. I wore it, I actually wore it when I, saw the, when I had my private screening of the film yesterday. So. Were you glad that you had a private screening? Yes, I felt very delicious. Yeah, it's very much our film. Very much. You were a very amusing presence in the film. She's the well, comic relief, I think. Oh, oh, yeah. By the way, this is not, I did not make this up. My friend Elena, she made this up. 
Um, and whenever we see each other, we go, no more I thought it was very well produced and edited and great use with the sound effects and loved the Doctor Who music. <laughs> well, that was James in the background. His music was playing off the stereo. You're dressed very similarly to how you were in the beginning of Doctor Who. I am, I am. Although this is, that is, the, is that the same hat? That is the same hat. Very this good. is a real bow tie this time, though. Not, <laughs> uh, not a fake football. Bow ties are cool. A meme right there, folks. Indeed. Yeah, look at this adoring fan. <laughs> An adoring fan. <laughs> this is all you were drinking in the dark. Boy, I can't believe security says. didn't keep him from coming in. As I was editing this, I noticed your facial expressions as Sophie was pretending to hate Star Trek when she had gotten the Blu-ray from yeah. the rental store. What was going on in your head at that moment? Something rubbed me wrong because you'd mentioned on the phone that Sophie was the one that was getting it. Uh, it was getting the DVD. And it rubbed me wrong that she said that she wasted her money because based on the way you said it to me, I thought that she was moderately excited about it. Because you'd explain that whole thing to me before. It just didn't feel right. I could sense there was something, something Thing that I wasn't being told. I never would have anticipated what it was. That was shocking. <laughs> well, it was a great facial expression. <laughs> great moment. All right, now I have a, I have a contract for... The audio is actually better. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks. Once again, James knows how to get everybody's attention. <laughs> I, I have a contract for everybody in Trackies in the Darkness to sign, basically uh, stipulating that I can use you in the film, your image. As, but you can't uh, use my license plate. Right, I, I blurred out all that stuff, yeah. yeah. I woke up at 6.30 today to finish that. Want to sign yes. yes. find your name right so. James, you signed in the wrong place. You signed where Sophie's name is. Oh. I saw my name and I looked up. James, you gotta look closely. You're I'm bumbling right it. Now. You're bumbling it, James. You you masquerade as if you're the bastion of formality. And you do this. Let me, let me take How this. dare James. you. There we oh, you crossed out his name! <laughs> now I gotta resign. So much for my official document. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Sophie, you can't. I, I can't even change. Sophie, so get the pen away from her. No, this is an official document. Alright, James, you figured this out. You figure out where she is. I didn't say my phone man. No, no, get the pen away from her. <laughs> what did you think of the other films that we showed tonight? I enjoyed them. Uh, the infamous Metallic Planet. Metallic Planet the musical. What are you it talking was going about? It was shown after the credits as sort of a funny thing. We never got it filmed though because there was too much fighting over what song the alien should sing. Okay, so at Forbidden Planet, EJ, EJ and I had negotiated for a little bit and I am buying the Metallic Planet Film Company for a quarter. I've already paid EJ. I have a contract waiting for both of us Explain to sign why you're buying it. in my room. And we're going to sign the contracts right now. Yes. Are you ready, EJ? I'm ready. Me and Wes are going to reboot it. Can I have the merchandising rights? No. Oh. Got to read the contract. Want to read it out loud for us? You can do this. <laughs> the type of contract this is is a transaction of property possession. Uh, in this case, the sale of the Metallic Film Company within the Metallic Planet franchise to Westbrook's Productions. Seller, E.J. Newton, administrator of the Metallic Film Company. Buyer, Wes Brooks, administrator of Westbrook's Productions. <laughs> the price, 25 cents. <coughs> this paper hereby gives infinite ownership, control, and distribution of the Metallic Planet films and the Metallic Planet franchise and control over its parent company within the confines <coughs> of the franchise to Westbrook's Productions unless otherwise altered in a future contract initiated by Westbrook's Productions to the Metallic Film Company. However, certain creative controls are retained by the Metallic Film Company's founder, E.J. <laughs> Newton. E.J. Newton must be consulted and provide approval, whether contractually or otherwise, before a new Metallic Planet film re-release or new promotional campaign slash distribution is initiated by Westbrook's Productions. So that is the contract and all we have yet left to do. Is sign them. Don't you want to pen? Are you ready, EJ? I like pencils. Uh, but then you can erase, so you can erase it. it. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're yeah, using the like ink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if, I, if I really, if I really wanted to terminate the contract, I'd rip it. Actually, it wouldn't count though. Contract point. <laughs> Will he sign it's it? It's mine. It's signing over the Star Wars <laughs> book, <laughs> really. Yeah, I'm and Bob Iger. Like, like All right, EJ. Right. It's time for you to sign it. Right there.
Yeah. Man, what are we gonna do? With the We're gonna reboot, reboot it. We're gonna ship somebody <laughs> weird. Somebody that would take the fans off. Yeah, this is an official Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Just think what I can do with the Metallic Film Planet franchise. You need to put the dates on both of these, please. <laughs> uh, no, James. James. Not James, can do the honors. Okay, yeah, there you go. Alright, James, you... Alright, this is your contribution to the contract. No. Whoa, do it again! <laughs> I won't do no, 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 the honors. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he has the other half. Yeah. You're right. Doesn't do anything, because we agreed upon it. Unless I scan it, that'd be happy talking If anything is to change, it requires another contract. Actually, uh, we were never planning on making another Metallic Planet, so... Hey, you told me you were gonna make, you told me you were gonna make a sequel when uh, you turned in your paperwork. We were originally, she changed but... Her mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. So what have you done to coordinate the awards part of the evening? Uh, well, I went through, I studied the Academy Awards and the Golden Globes, finding out what the various categories were. I came up with the category several months back before you finished the film. Once you announced the premiere, it was just a matter of getting everybody, get pa getting paperwork everyone to fill out. Saying what the main characters were, what the supporting characters were, what the actors' names were, and getting all that information so I could compile up the ballot sheet, which I'm very proud of because it took a lot to get the columns right. I didn't want to have to go four sheets, which is what it was, so I used columns. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening right now is the votes for the NerdCon Awards. Sarah, you're the one who has to compile all our votes oh, together. Oh, yeah? gravy! Yeah, this could take a while. You want to do this paper? Okay, yes, please. All right, Let's all right. Our mistress of awards. Now, don't rewrite these contracts. Well, <laughs> you never know. You have great power <laughs> sitting here. Official certificates, courtesy of Microsoft Word. All right, well, we'll leave you to it, Sarah. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll see who wins these things. Yes. First, I would like to see best after an extra roll, please. Very thrilled to have that behind you now, Sarah. Oh, very. Nobody envies your task, Sarah. Well done. Soon. It is Thank a two-way tie. Hey, awesome! And what is it for? It is for Trekkies into Darkness. Woohoo! We laughed really hard in the yeah, scene where Kirk died. We thought that was hilarious. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> very professional, very expensive. They were gonna throw them out at work. <laughs> it's a reflector for like a bike or a car. Nice. Oh, I thought it was a can. <laughs> that would that be funnier. Cheap. One more round of applause. Yes. Best actress in a supporting role goes to Esther and E.J. Newton for The Metallic Planet and Trekkies in the Darkness. E.J. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Anti-truck symbol. This is the anti-truck symbol. But I'm I've sure gone I'm a back to... Okay, <laughs> so you want to tell you all the trickiness? <laughs> Best actor in a supporting role. Best actor in your supporting role goes to John Weir for Trekkies in the Darkness. Seeing it backwards Warsies since you saw the new movie last. Die Hard Warsies. Alright, John. John, what did you think of 2009? I can barely remember it. Oh, really? <laughs> Best actor in a leading role. Oh boy, here we go. Goes to... Wes Brooks for Space oh. Pirates. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take every bit of treasure on this planet and make it my own. Not yours, but mine. M I N N I. Best actress in a leading role goes to, no surprises here, Sophia Newton. <laughs> For into the darkness. There were any, you know. <laughs> no, there wasn't. One more on the way after this. One more on the way. One more. Oh, Morning, Sophie. Hello, Morning. folks. Hello. Here we are. All right, here's the skeptic, the Star Trek skeptic. I'm in a hostile place right now. You're in a hostile place? Feeling the Ahsoka. You'll identify with the Klingon in this film. <laughs> Best costume design, please, goes to James W. Weir for Trek into the Dark. Yeah! yeah! Okay. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, look what you guys did! Yes. Oh, you guys are epic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm probably the only person on the planet that would wear a Star Trek shirt over a collared button-up shirt. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened. I didn't even know that was possible. I, yeah. think, I think the world will fall in on itself now that this has been attempted. Best sound mixing. Goes to... Wes Brooks and E.J. Newton from the Metallic Planet and Space Pirates and Trekkies in the Darkness. <laughs> awesome. Wow.
pennant and one. Who wants the pennant and who wants the certificate? I'll, I'll have the certificate. Oh, Gary, okay, you have a pennant? Best director. Oh, ho, ho. Goes to Wes Brooks for Trekkies in the Dark. Yes! Woo! I've waited all my life for this. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> She's just taken her first step into a larger world. Most creative cinematography. Ah, helicopter and limousine ride. Best film editing goes to Wes Brooks for Breaking the Dark. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm really racking them up here. <laughs> the the Vian. shredded oblivion. I, I oh, shredded Ruse Vian, the movie Ruse Vian. So you genuinely dislike the movie. We'll get into this later. <laughs> we'll get into I, it I, soon. Best improvised line. John Weir and Sophia Newton for Jetpack Legacy and Trekkies in the Darkness. Yeah! I want that. Let me say, no, sir. I don't mean to disagree with you, sir. Mr. Stop it! Give me sweaty! Uh, um, sir, sir, but I'm just, uh, I'm just... No! Oh. Spock is the Jar Jar of the Star Trek universe. From an outsider looking in, that's how it seems to me. Best title design goes to James W. Weir for Jetpack Legacy. Nice! <laughs> it's proving to be quite a problem. Alright, and the best picture of the 2012 to 2013 or 2013 to 2014 Nerd Count Achievement Awards goes to 